Uh, it's obviously been in the air for a little bit. Um, try not to pay attention to it. You know, I was kind of head down, um, trying to focus on the task at hand, you know, and um, started to get a little bit more serious. And then, you know, obviously I don't have a whole lot of control. So I, I you know, let my agent and, uh, you know, Scott Fitterer, who is one of the best that I've been around as far as, you know, handles everything so well. Um, they were just very upfront with me and told me, probably going to happen. I didn't know who to. Uh, once again, I was just trusting God with the whole process. And, you know, I got to say, I couldn't be more fired up to be here, though. So um, thank you, everyone, for welcoming me. You know, I want to also just thank everybody in Carolina. You know, I don't know if I'll get another chance to do that. So it's, uh, you know, it's, the whole thing happens fast. Um, but I just want to thank everybody there. You know, I have a home there and a lot of respect for everybody there and thank my teammates and coaches I didn't get to say bye to them so they know I love them but um, proud and happy to be a 49er when those rumors start developing and you, you hear a little bit of that how much in your head even though you don't have control are you thinking there's destinations I would really like to go to and where did the Niners kind of sit in that well I've uh, you know obviously watched them for a long time um, in my opinion the best run game and uh one of the most explosive offenses in the league. And I think you just go down the roster and you look at all the guys. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about, just getting in the locker room, getting to meet the guys. Um, but how could you not want to play here, you know, as an offensive weapon? Uh, I'm extremely fired up. Obviously, I have a little bit of a history with Coach Shanahan. And um, just, uh, yeah, can't express how happy I am to be here. A little bit more of a recent history with some of those defensive guys and you went out and bet them in the locker room. So what's that kind of like to also with them? two weeks or you're giving them tips on how they actually can tackle you yeah well you know it goes both ways uh, you know what i mean um uh, it's one of the best defenses i've ever faced and um i'm happy to be on the right side of things now factors would be that would determine whether you're ready to play this sunday oh uh, i that would have to be you know coach's decision um preparing to be ready and ready to roll but that's you know not my decision the taste of how daunting that might be just by going out to the practice and you know listening to the, the verbiage and how how they call plays and whatnot. Yeah, you know, the, the good thing about the game being on Sunday is that you still have two days. So, you know, you can process a lot in two days and figure out a lot in a short amount of time and hopefully be ready to go. But, you know, once again, I'll leave that up to them. But just my job to learn as much as humanly possible in the next two days and get ready to play a football game. Uh, how do you think Coach Shanahan can make you a better player? Well, I think he, you know, I don't know if there's anyone better at putting guys uh, in positions to have success and tailor into what they're good at. Um, you know, for me, I've, I've watched him do some unbelievable things with some great running backs and even the running backs in the room right now. Um, you know, I'm just excited to learn from them and to hear how Coach Shanahan coaches not just the running back position, but every single position on the field. Um, it's something that, you know, you kind of hear legends about, you know, I remember in Carolina, we had a tight ends coach, Brian Angelico, who was with him for a while. And uh, you just hear legends about how good of an offensive mind he is. And so to be here is um, exciting. Kyle, compared you to Debo Samuel in terms of your versatility, I mean, what are you most looking forward about um, when it comes to playing on the field with Debo and both of you kind of giving teams fits? Yeah, that's an honor to be compared to him, you know. Um, so I'm happy to share the locker room with him, and I think we can do some exciting things. Legends, uh, Bobby Turner. How familiar are you with him? Yeah, uh, you know, go way back. He coached my dad back in the day in Denver, and obviously he's coached a string of incredible running backs. And so, you know, even Coach Lynn, um, you know, go back with him as well. So when they talk, I'm all ears. I'm just extremely blessed and excited to learn from them. When you start hearing names of teams that could be interested, did, did you try to? move it in a certain direction or did you were you just a bystander just a bystander you know i i you don't have a lot of control so for me i was just kind of hey you know wherever i go is what what's meant to be and um but I, I you know i found out probably five seconds before you guys found out and uh i was ecstatic yeah i was extremely excited and happy to be here what did you change, if, if anything, uh, you know, after you had you know, two seasons with the injuries? Did you change anything with your training or routine, or was it just like, I'm an NFL running back and this comes to the yeah, I think you're always adapting. Uh, you know, every off season, whether you have um, clean season or not, it's it's um, it's a constant change in figuring out what's the best thing to do. And so I made some tweaks here and there, um, talked with some different guys, and 
Um, you know, it'd be a long laundry list of things, but I think every year I've made certain changes, and at the end of the day, it's uh, it's an ongoing process. You know, every every day you wake up and you kind of do a, a test to see how you feel, and whatever you need, you go get done. And that's that's you know how I approach it, taking it one day at a time. All just happened, and you have two, you know, three years of contract, whatever you have left. But in your mind, if four nine, four nine, have you had a discussion about whether this is definitely a long term situation with you and four nine? Uh, I got here, uh, found out last night at like 11:30. Got on a plane at eight and practiced today. So I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get the playbook down. That's the only thing I'm focused on. You know, going to help this team win a lot of football games, hopefully, and um, that's where my mind is. My dad played here and, and in Denver for Coach Shanahan. Now you play here for Coach Shanahan. What's and you coming back to Stanford area? What's the emotional impact for you and your family for this trip? Yeah, it's special, you know. I mean, you try to stay, um, you know, as business as you can in one step at a time, but it is special, you know, even um, just being back in the Bay Area where I've had so many great memories going back to Stanford, um, you know, having friends who are still here and knowing a lot of the guys in the locker room already. Um, it all comes full circle, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's special, and I'm lucky and proud to be here. You started that playbook crash course on the plane already today? No, I think I had to pass the physical first, and then I get the playbook. So, I passed. Feels good physically now as you did in 19 and 20. I feel great. I feel great. What was it feeling like to be on a team yesterday and, and then on a new team today with an entirely new outlook on the season? It's a weird feeling. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. I don't know if you can prepare for it, but uh, I'm here now. And once again, it'll, it'll all come. Uh, you know, it's going to be some, uh, some new things here and there. But like I said, I'm, I'm extremely blessed to be here. And... Uh, I'll get more comfortable every day and definitely a different thing. Um, but that's this game. That's the NFL. Small sample size, but a couple guys that have come in here mid-season have talked about how special the locker room is. What have you noticed so far? Yeah, it's it's amazing already. You know, you can you can get a feel of, of, of the guys already. And, you know, everyone's been so cool to me, you know, coming up, saying hi, introducing themselves. Uh, um, like I said, I'm, I'm happy to be here, happy to be in the room with the running backs, uh, with some great players. Uh, share the locker room with some with some guys that you know I've studied over the years and watched tape on, and um, you know it's a surreal moment for me. And like I said, I haven't done a whole lot of processing of it yet. You know, just being right off the plane and having everything thrown at me at once. But um, I'm lucky. I'm proud to be here, and uh, can't wait to get to work.